G'day guys and welcome to this episode of Simply Fit and it's a bit of a DIY so just breaking down what I've done today is I've got this Smith machine here and see the sleeves here when you put a plate on it it's very very close to these safeties at the back as you can see so we'll come around here see this safety just here that plate's almost touching it it's got no much room at all what I've been doing is taking the plate off and putting on a quick rip collar and then putting the plate back on which that's creating the gap you know which is really good same issue is with my belt squat over there there's not much clearance at all what they should have uh, spaces such as this black one here so that's the purpose of this video I want to show you a quick DIY from Bunnings and that are these these are from Bunnings these are 50 millimeter pan cones so what they are is for your toilet so it connects the pan to the system and seals it so it's a rubber cone it's flexible this is the perfect width because the bars are 50 millimeters on the end so I'd use this technique over here for my ATX plates for the wall storage, the wall horns. And I thought I'd actually make a video this time. So all you do, you get one of these and you invert this bit inside of it. You can cut it, but if you invert it, it's way neater. And it's a bit of a hassle, like it's a bit of a tight fit, but that's one of them on here now. Now that's not going anywhere, that can't come off unless you really reef it, like it's really, really solid there. And it gives a perfect spacer for my plates to go on. There you go. So 20 bucks, $5 each to do this. I've got to use this one on the other side, of course. And I've already just done the uh, belt squat. So you can see there it is on the inside there. There's a nice clearance. Otherwise, without that, those plates are hitting on this arm just here. And then you got this side. So I'll show you what I was talking about with my ATX plates. If I slide them forward just a little bit. See here you got the wall. There's some I put on eight, ten months ago. That's stopping the plates from hitting these bolts here and actually scratching the plates and you know getting near the wall. So that's where I got the idea from. They're 50 millimeter horns as well. A little tip to get those cones onto the machine is get some soap and just soap up the sleeve with some water and soap. That'll allow it to slide on because if it's not soaked up, they're really grippy, they're hard to get on. Don't be tempted to cut that little um, end bit out. Fold it on the inside, it makes it much neater. If you cut it, it looks really messy, but you can see here I've folded it in and it's a nice, neat, tight finish. So yeah, it's a really good idea. Yeah, so all you gotta do, go to Bunnings, Pan cones in the plumbing aisle, five dollars twenty each. You can get a nice spacer here for any of your machines that need those spacers that don't have them. So I hope you enjoyed that quick DIY video. Till next time, keep flexing.